I'm Rin, and this channel is all about cross stitch. As you could probably guess, I don't know why else you'd be here, but uh, okay. So, um, welcome anybody that's new. I know I've had some new subscribers recently. You got up over a hundred, yeah. And uh, some new people. I went to a retreat this last weekend, so I know I have some new people from there. Hi, and uh, it was nice meeting everybody. It was fun. I didn't take any pictures because I'm horrible about that, but it was a lot of fun. It was over in Orange Beach, Alabama, the Gulf Coast Stitching, I think, or something like that. <laughs> Terrible with this stuff. But it was fun. It's the first retreat I've been to. So it's kind of neat to see how that sort of thing goes. And I will be going to another one next month in June, going to StitchCon Weekend B. So if any of you out there are going to that, uh, say hello down in the comments. Okay, so that's sort of some of the stuff I've been up to. Other updates and news. Part two of my Kingdom Hearts out is out. It's uh, put it out last week exciting so it i'll put a picture up here of what that section looks like that i stitched and that's the bond of flame keyblade so you can see I, we're having much bigger keyblades than the first section also i've got the usual round of chrono cross patterns coming out this month which i've been a little delayed on getting them put out i will admit i've kind of been slacking off so I, my video took a little longer this month so I was kind of worn out from being out of town. Uh, I mean, it's not a super long drive, but long enough to be kind of exhausting. So I've got my usual portraits, so I'll put those up. And then I've got the menu art, which is very sexy this month. <laughs> There's lots of cleavage. I, I didn't really, I was like, I lumped all those together. It's a lot of, <laughs> hey, the game has a lot of female characters, so go them. I also put out a Disgaea pattern, which has characters from the first four games. So that is out. Um, I haven't stitched it yet, unfortunately. I really want to, but it is a bigger one. It's like almost 300 stitches by 300 stitches. So it's, it's, it's not small, but it's really cool, very detailed. So hit all that. Before we get into the stitching, uh, my pop culture highlight for this month is we went to see Sonic, and I'm I'm a big fan of Sonic. <laughs> I've I was really into him when I was a kid, about twelve or so. I didn't really get to play the games much. I didn't have consoles back then, but I collected the comic books. I had a stuffed Sonic. I still have him. <laughs> I would specifically eat chili dogs because Sonic ate chili dogs. <laughs> So I was, I was very, very into it. And I was excited when they made the new ones and really hoping they didn't mess it up. And so far, I think they're really fun for what they are. And Jim Carrey is very amusing in them. So, you know, if you are a fan of Sonic or if you have kids that like stuff like that, I would recommend it. It's a fun movie. Okay, now let's get to the actual stitching that you're here for. So I made a little more progress on my evolutions pattern. This one is from Heaven and Earth Designs. The art is from Walking Melons and it's stitched on 18 count, easy count Ada. I did 1,314 stitches, which some of those you saw last time because I did my video a little later because I wanted to finish that page, but I did make a little progress onto the second page. You can see here, not, not a ton. I will admit it's not, it's not a whole lot, but it's a start. And now you can see this is this is my full fabric, so yeah, it's it's a pretty good size pattern, that's for sure. And that's the mini. I don't know how people do the the super size one, but I like it so far. I, I think the detail's still pretty good, even with it being the mini. Honestly. It's just that the the even the regular one is, is big and it's too much for me. Okay, so I think I might have said in my last video I was going to restart a couple of ones I was working on. Um, I did manage to restart the Pixel Prime Sal for 2022. I think he's, it's called uh, Power Up Plaza. Uh, I got a little bit of a start on it because I was doing it on 25 count 
and now I'm switched over to 18 count with the uh, the easy grid on there. So this is my Pixel Prime, and I did just 524 stitches, so not a lot, but you can see I'm starting to get the outline of the the frame here. So it's a start. I was uh, I was glad to restart that one. It's just 25 count is not my thing. Some people can do the little teeny tiny counts, and I just Okay, so the other thing I've been working on, I've got this uh, kit by Mill Hill Leopard Seal Santa. I did 757 stitches. So you can see I've made pretty good progress, even though I haven't worked on it like the past two Mondays for the Mill Hill Mondays. And I don't know if I'm actually gonna end up getting to work on it this month because I have a lot of projects to work on. But you can see I've got the Santa mostly done out, it's mostly there's the beads left there and then I've got the seals so I we'll see if I get back to this month if not it will come back at some point but I think it is cute so I started two new projects this month when I went to the retreat I have one that I kind of want to be like a travel project where I take it on trips and everything and hopefully finish it this year so it's a pattern by Ink Circles uh, called Half the Fun. And I'm stitching this on a 16 count Ada. I'm not sure of the color. It's it's some sort of Zweigart dyed brown or something, I think. I It was a piece I had left. So I did 676 stitches. And it's charted just all in one color, but I decided to do a couple different variegated flosses. So you can see on here, there's little hot air balloons, boats. This is the start of a train, which is kind of hard to tell. But it's all different sorts of transportation, like buses and cars and unicycles, <laughs> boats and uh, helicopters and stuff like that. So I'm kind of doing the different modes of transportation in different colors. So like blue for stuff on the ocean and yellow for stuff in the air. And then I'm just doing the, the, the trains and the rockets in red, sort of like fire. And then the other ones in green. So I haven't got any green on it yet, but I, li I like that one. I think it's cute. I'll try to see if I can find a picture to put up of what it's going to look like when it's done. If I can, if I can find that somewhere, cause it's a, it's a paper pattern that I have. Uh, it's not a digital pattern, so we'll see what I find. So, so I started that one over the weekend and I started the Under the Sea Sow. This one is by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery and I'm stitching it on a 32 count even weave as dyed by Jody from the Steel City Stitchers. So I get them in her fabric club. So I did 1,104 stitches and I finished part one and started a little bit on part two. So you can see the mermaid and the little dolphins. I'm like they're so, they're so precious. Oh, look at her, she's so adorable. And the little dolphins, it's like a mama and a baby. <laughs> they're so cute. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping maybe I'll get a chance to work on the second part this month. Um, we'll see. I have, so in my last video, I talked about the spooky mayhem stitching. So it's a hashtag I've got going on Instagram and I have started two projects for that, but I'm not going to have them in my video. I decided I'm just going to do all of those next month when I've got it all uh, together. So I'm hoping that I can at least make some progress on all 13 and maybe finish one or two of them because I've got some smaller ones in there. We shall see. <laughs> we shall see what happens. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, you try, you try. Okay, so finishes. What have I finished this month? So of course I have another Chrono Cross finish. This, for this month, I had to do the mermaid from the game, Irenez. Irenez, I'm not sure. We just had names to read and you came up with your own pronunciation. <laughs> but I just, I love the colors, the blues and the purples in here and her crown. And I just love the way it turned out. I think she's so pretty. I was having a lot of fun stitching her. And 
yeah, I just, I love how that one came out. So of course this one is by me. It's on a 16 count Ada and it was 3,676 stitches total. So we'll go in with all the other ones, but another one, another one done. I've got about 40 more to go. <laughs> Oh, seriously, I'm crazy. Okay, another one I finished. I did another pattern, one of the Bulbasaur patterns from So Nerdy by Brie. And this is on a 14 count Aqua Ada. 1,007 stitches. It's hanging with my peeps. So it is a really adorable little chocolate Bulbasaur. And he has a peep on his back. <laughs> so it's kind of silly but fun. And so I did change one thing up. She had some like quarter stitches to do the eye, but I felt like on the Ada that they might get wonky. And so I just, I just did them a little front French knot eyeball, but yeah, that one, that one's, that one was really quick. It didn't take me very long at all, but I'm having fun doing this little Bulbasaurs. Got another one coming up this month. I know you're shocked. <laughs> okay. The other thing I finished was I finished the sunflowers for Ukraine. That was a pattern by Witch's Garden Crafts, and it was a pattern to raise money for the UN Refugee Fund. I think she's got it for free now, but she's still encouraging people to just donate on their own as opposed to uh, her. And it, I think the last thing I saw that she posted is they raised about $12,000, which is really, really nice and a good, a good effort there. Very good. So this is on a 28 count Lugana, it's the color is sage, and I did 3,177 stitches this month to finish it up. And it doesn't count the, the back stitching, so I can't really count that, but that's fine. But yeah, you can see, put the sunflower seeds in your pocket so they grow when you die. And it's just so, I just love how subversive it is, and it's just like, oh, pretty sunflowers, and their skulls down the bottom. <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> so as you can see, I didn't get this really centered on the fabric, but that's okay. I want to make it into a pillow or something, I think, probably, but, you know, one of these days when I actually pull out the sewing machine and I finish some things, I've got a bin of stuff stitched, all ready to go, but I just need to actually do something with it one of these days. Okay, so I see all the stuff I've been working on. Let's talk about plans. So my plans that I had for this past month was to finish the sunflowers for Ukraine. You can see I finished that. Uh, finish parts five and six of the Keyblades. I finished part five. I did not finish part six, but that's okay. That was, I was just trying to get ahead anyway. Uh, I, I started part six, I just, didn't finish. I've been very distracted. I've got a big diamond painting I started on, so. Uh, and design more patterns for the, the ones I'm wanting to put out next year. And I did make a little progress on that, but I'm hoping that I need to get get cracking on that more. And test stitch the Irones portrait, which I did, and you saw that. So what do I have plans for May? Okay, so my goals and plans and such for May. I want to work on 13 spooky projects. So I already talked about that in my last video. And if you wanted to see what those are, you can watch my floss tube extra. Uh, finish part six of the Keyblades, which I need to get done because then I need to work on part seven in June. Uh, design more patterns. I'm just basically going to be trying to do that every month. <laughs> Hopefully I can at least get a few in there somewhere. Um, test stitch Mickey, which is my next corner cross pattern, which I need to like get on that soon. And uh, stitch the birthday Bulbasaur, which I also talked about in my last video. It's another pattern from So Nerdy by Brie. And it's a little Bulbasaur and he's got a cupcake on his back and it's really cute. Uh, so I'm gonna be doing, stitching that starting on May 20th. So if you want to join me and use the little hashtag birthday Bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you want you don't have to necessarily stitch that Bulbasaur or if you want to stitch another Pokemon or anything sort of related to that 
you know, that's fine. Do what you want. Um, I think that's about it for me today. I don't want to go on too long because then it just takes forever. I don't, I don't know how people upload these hour, hour and a half long videos that drive me nuts. Just doing the length I do seems to take forever. <laughs> or maybe we just have really bad internet. I don't know. That, that is that is definitely a possibility. <laughs> uh, I think that's it for me uh, in this video for this month for my update on what I was doing in April. I'm gonna try to be a little more on time at the beginning of the month. <laughs> Next month see oh before I go I did want to mention so a little ahead of time for June I'm going to be doing pride stitching so I'm gonna pick out I think I decided on seven projects I know like I need to st I, one of them one of them is going to be one that I've already started that's that's a whip but I am gonna pick out some other projects for for pride month because if you know my channel I am non-binary, my pronouns are they, them, so I, you know, and this will be like my first full Pride Month, so I'm excited, and I've got some, I've got some patterns in mind, I'm gonna see, maybe there's some other ones I want to add to it, um, I probably won't make a separate video like I did for the Spooky Mayhem, but I will probably show all the projects I'm going to work on in June in my next video, so if you're interested in that, or if you want to know what I'm going to be working on before then, feel free to drop a comment down here or send me a message on Instagram because, you know, I don't get many messages. It's exciting to hear from people. <laughs> but other than that, that's sort of what I've got planned for the next, you know, two months so far. I also have some ideas for July as well, but I'll get into that in my next video. I don't want to throw too much stuff at you at once. Okay, so I hope you have been, have had a good month since the last time I seen you or whenever it was. And I hope that the rest of May is good for you. Other than that, I will see you next time. Bye.